Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Welcome back to the Wipress area. You know, uh, this creek has a problem. It's with beavers. The fact is, there aren't enough of them. And so biologists and volunteers have been, well, pardon the pun, busy as beavers, creating these man-made dams. So the first problem that we identified was the hanging culverts. And there's two creeks, uh, we call them Whispering Pines West and Whispering Pines East because they're two neighboring tributaries that flow into Wipers Creek. Both are severed or fragmented by hanging culverts. So that was the first obvious problem. Then we looked upstream. We thought if we're gonna continue or look towards reconnecting these creeks, allowing fish passes at upstream, what is the habitat like upstream? So we kind of took a look, we walked around, we surveyed the situation and we saw a fair amount of degradation here. We've addressed some of that stuff already, looking at off highway vehicle trails and building bridges and um, realigning trails out of the floodplains and um, reclaiming fords that are not supposed to be there. You might think, how will this become a trout habitat? We're looking for clues on the landscape and we see willows out here. There's obvious examples upstream and downstream of old beaver dams. And so we imagine that this used to be a wet meadow with lots of beaver ponds and um, the soil acting like a sponge and holding water and feeding this creek year round. What's happened when you have an incised or entrenched channel like this, it erodes down and down and down and the water table drops with it. And so it dries the whole landscape out. We're trying to build that water table back up the way beavers would do it. We're reconnecting water to the landscape and to the creek. Um, we're reconnecting the fish from Wipers Creek up into the system. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a reconnection. And we, I mean, ultimately we're connecting people with this landscape too. We have had volunteers out every day this week. They're all learning and connecting and uh, how they have a stake in what's happening here. These artificial dams are a critical link to ensuring water remains in this area as West Slope cutthroat trout and bull trout will now be able to access this part of the creek now that the culvert issue further downstream has been resolved. Now that the beaver dams are completed, the next challenge the team has as they continue their work as busy beavers is to create a defined stream flow. Okay. <laughs> It should be holding lots and lots of water with lots of beaver ponds, but there's none. So in the absence of beavers, we're going to be the beavers to help mimic and get these natural processes going again. That's what we're doing. Now, recreating a stream path is undoubtedly not straightforward. In this case, straight lines are to be avoided. It was like here, yeah. like this, yeah. and Joel had us taking it back a bit. So one of the other major problems, we have this really, we call it an incised channel. So it's like a deep ditch, essentially. It's like a bowling alley, and a creek shouldn't look like a bowling alley. It should look like a pinball machine with the water bouncing from side to side and hitting things along the way, obstacles. So this creek has zero complexity, no structure, and what we're doing is adding wood and structure and complexity to create a little chaos in the system. Replicating that chaos is backbreaking work as logs and other substrate material is put into place. Physically demanding, but got to be kind of satisfying, eh? Oh, definitely. Especially when you come back and see the work, like the following year, you can see how much has changed, what kind of plants have uh, taken over the banks, especially those beaver dam analogs upstream. Oh, that's going to be really interesting to see right. what they do to the landscape. It's been said that good things are worth waiting for. Case in point, all the effort that a lot of people have put in and an awful lot of time. It'll be next spring before the results will hopefully pay off. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.